everyone, this is Daniel Scranton, and Colleandra's here too. <laughs> and we're going to channel the Arcturian Council. simmering just beneath the surface of the human collective consciousness. And we are getting that feeling right now as we observe you. We are noticing a movement towards all of you gaining quite a bit of clarity. About who you want to be how you want to live your lives. And about your sovereignty. Humankind has been looking for the perfect opportunity to free yourselves from the bondage of depending so much on your governments, your leaders, your 
captains of industry. Humankind is ready to break free from the system that has been reflecting more of that third dimensional consciousness that you've had present on your world for so long. You are ready to be free of all of the systems that limit you, the systems that tie you down and hold you back from being who you want to be. This is where you, as the awakened collective, come in. Because you understand the mechanics of the universe. You understand how to create your reality, how to manifest, how to live outside of all systems. You understand how to make yourselves invisible to that which is third dimensional. Now, what we are talking about here is essentially raising your vibration high enough to where you create your own society. We are talking about moving yourselves out of your current economic and political systems and living as fifth dimensional beings manifesting what you need out of thin air starting communities where you pool resources and where you co-create with the power of multiple humans focusing on what the community needs and what the community wants. You have grown weary of relying on politicians to represent you instead of their interests. You have grown tired of expecting corporations to have a conscience, to care about the environment, to care about the people that buy their products. And many of you recognize that the system that you have been living in has been rigged. to make those in power even more powerful. So why even try to thrive in that system when you know that you are sending, when you Recognize that the universe has your back. And when you can feel all the beings of service around you who are there to support you, 
who are there to lead you into this fifth dimensional realm that you are co-creating as the awakened ones. You are ready for something very different. And the world as it is today is showing you that now is the perfect time to throw off the shackles of oppression, to free yourselves from third dimensional ideas and paradigms. You are ready to start living in 5D right now. And you are the ones to lead the rest of humanity to that frequency range as they will ride on the coattails of your successes, of your wisdom, and of your high vibration. Well, the council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. front legs <laughs> hanging off the dangling off the, the <laughs> dining room table here <laughs> she is uh, officially she has officially left me for the mini trampoline in the corner of this room right over there right on the other side of the table there's a mini trampoline that my wife uh, has not <laughs> been using <laughs> that she wanted so much um and uh, Kaliandra is like, well, I'll put this to good use. <laughs> Curl up on it. <laughs> um, we had such a good uh, hike today. The three of us, my wife and Talia, don't always come with me nowadays because uh, Talia's naps and everything have to line up perfectly for that to happen. But today, three of us went. Talia was so excited about being there and in the forest. And I was thinking about how she's going to be when she starts talking, how she's going to want us to like stop all the time so she can touch things and investigate things. <laughs> she was very, very excited. Uh, and uh, so that was the morning. And then I worked and then my wife took her out to uh, visit with her friend Khan and uh, uh, Talaya's friend, Khan. <laughs> my wife's friend is Sesame. And uh, they hung out, and um, and then when they got home, Talia was asleep. So I did. I only saw Talia tonight for a brief moment of in between that nap and her actual sleep time, and she was not happy to see me. <laughs> she she kind of just my wife handed her to me, and she just cried. I was like, okay, she needs you. She needs to, she needs those those uh, milk bearing breasts. <laughs> She likes that. She likes to fall asleep uh, while breastfeeding. It's like her favorite thing. Um, well, Kaliandra, what do you think? What's going on in the world? Um, I guess it's hot everywhere still. That's not news. Ooh, here comes the tail. Ooh. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything else to say. I've got some things in, on YouTube in the description coming up. A meditation class. I've been meditating twice a day lately. And it's making such a huge difference because I have not been sleeping as much. Um, and I don't know why. Still. Um, but uh, the meditating is really helping. And um, so I've got a, a group class coming up on the 27th. Link below on YouTube. Um, 
and a, a class on healing that I'm going to do on 29th. That's a that's a course. That's a three week course. And then I just created an, a new master course. Also a link to that down below in YouTube on accessing your spiritual gifts and starting a spiritual business. Um, so that's that's all I really have to report here. Um, uh, the the American show is is very interesting because it is like they are exploring you know the the morality and the ends and the means and um, you know I'm hoping to see some growth in these characters still because <laughs> it's it's pretty dicey the the things they do but um, um, I I know I'll check out the Umbrella Factory next as soon as I finish this one and I've got a I, I need to send an email to my friend who um, who knows the My Chemical Romance guy because um, she sent me an email a long time ago and I haven't responded to it. I want to respond to your emails and for the most part some people are just um, pretty much like harassing me but um, but for the most part I, I want to respond to emails and messages and everything and I have the best of intentions to but I, uh, I am very busy, as, as those of you who've tried to book a session, a time with me uh, know. I think she's got like a little um, prickly thing in her fur. I think that's what that is. Ooh, it's not coming out easily. Um, so our neighbor, our neighbor took care of our cats while we were away, and she's like, yeah, I cut all this stuff out of their fur. And I was like, oops, <laughs> I didn't even know it was there. Uh, um, all right, everybody, I'm going to go. I'm going to go transcribe. This is way too high. This should be more like this. Too late now. Blessings. Namaste. I love you guys. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already to my YouTube. And if you're on Instagram, come back to my IGTV station channel, whatever, because I do this every night. And, uh, and I love it. And I, I really loved tonight's message. And... Um, I really felt the power of it. I felt like it was important. I hope people watch this. Um, and yeah, please help me to grow my YouTube channel however you can <laughs> so more people can get this. This information which, which needs to uh, get out there as much as the, the other stuff that's getting out there that's very, to me, seeming seemingly very... Uh, disempowering and uh, um, not helpful that's my opinion I, I see so much in the in the new age these days that's really um, uh, not my cup of tea <laughs> so uh, it makes it makes me feel uh, even better about putting out these messages from the Arcturians I, I do want more people to see them so so thank all of you if you're helping me with that goal to do that. Take care, everybody. I love you. Bye. See you tomorrow night.